January 13th. Today we commemorate the holy martyrs Hermolus and Stratonicus. The emperor Licinius launched a violent persecution against the Christians. Saint Hermolus, a Christian and a deacon in one of the churches, was arrested and condemned to death. When he was told that he was being taken out to martyrdom, he rejoiced greatly. The emperor threatened him in vain. Hermolus openly confessed his faith in Christ, and in reply to the emperor's threats said, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear what man does unto me. After harsh torture, Hermolus was flung into prison, but the jailer was one Stratonicus, a secret Christian who was filled with wholehearted compassion for Hermolus's sufferings. When he too appeared before the emperor as a Christian, Licinius ordered that they be both thrown into the Danube. So Hermolus and Stratonicus were bound together in one net and cast into the river. After three days the river threw their bodies onto the bank, and fellow Christians took them and buried them a little way outside Belgrade. These glorious martyrs suffered for Christ and entered into glory in the year 315. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, mask the pardon our transgressions. O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, Received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from the our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayers save our souls, since thou art merciful. people chanting a hymn of victory, let us sing unto the Lord, who overwhelmed Pharaoh in the Red Sea, for he has been glorified. O holy martyrs Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. You have appeared as precious and divinely shining stars in the firmament of the church of wise martyrs, illuminating us with divine splendor. Holy martyrs Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. You are our spiritual coals, kindled with the fire of the Spirit, O celebrated Hermelus and Stratonicus, and you quench the idle spires in the streams of your blood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Flooded with the waters of Christ, who drowned our ungodliness in the streams, O martyrs, you dried up the rivers of godlessness. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Stop up the channels of my sin, thou who by thy childbearing has withered up the corruption of death, 
and give me compunction, O all blameless Mother of God. Plant thou the fear of thee in the hearts of thy servants, O Lord, and be thou the confirmation of us who call upon thee in truth. O holy martyrs Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. Hating the inconstancy of fleeting things, you long for the unfailing enjoyment of things to come. O noble warriors of Christ, the King of all. Holy martyrs Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for you us. You bravely withstood him that lawlessly commanded you to bow down to impiety, O godly minded Hermelus and Stratonicus, and you found the crowns of victory from heaven. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You dashed to the ground the images of error, O unerring martyrs of Christ, and raised up yourselves as venerable temples and monuments of divine knowledge. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The sword that formerly turned about grants me entrance, reverencing the spear that pierced him who was born of thee, O Virgin Mother. Together ye received your blessed end in the waters, while drowning wicked Belial in them forever. The grace of God helping you, O wise martyrs of Christ our Lord, hence upon receiving crowns of glory as victors, Ye rejoice in gladness with the choirs of the angels, with them now remember us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ God, who is clothed with light as with a garment on high, is clothed in the streams of Jordan River, also today receiving from heaven's heights, witness by his Father that their honor is equal, while below the Spirit's glory lights upon him. For he it is who hallows us, and who enlightens us. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy martyrs, Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. As a minister of the word, O martyr Hermelus, thou didst fervently convict with thy words the irrational folly of the transgressor. Holy martyrs, Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for Proclaiming us. Proclaiming the one nature and one authority and lordship of the Godhead, the godly minded martyrs despise the error of polytheism. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Though thou wast hanged up and harrowed and greatly tortured with pains, thou didst remain unchanging, O godly minded athlete, martyr Hermila. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art the mother of the world, O all pure virgin, call me back to repentance, that sleep in slothfulness and am enshrouded with sin. Wherefore hast thou turned thy face from me, O light never waning? And why has a strange darkness covered me, wretch that I am? But turn me and guide my steps to the light of thy commandments, I pray. O holy martyrs, Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. The clouds of torments obscured not your courage, O all-famed martyrs, for it was made manifest brighter than the sun with the splendor of piety, enlightening the pious and doing away the gloom of demons. Holy martyrs, Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. Having passed beyond the bounds of man's nature, O blessed of God, and being united through perfect purification unto him that is beyond nature, you endured the bitter torments and scrapings and outrages with steadfastness of mind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou mightily withstood the judge, O glorious martyr Hermilus, and was deemed worthy to hear a voice from heaven. And with a longing, O all blessed one, thou spakes with him that called thee, even the setter of the contest, who gave strength unto his martyrs. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. 
creatures, amen. As being fair and comely and flashing with purity, bright as lightning, thou lands a body unto the word, who is comely in beauty, and thou gavest birth to him, that with divine power grants their being to all in the riches of his kindness, O Virgin Mother. I pour forth my prayer unto the Lord, and to him do I declare my grief. For my soul is full of evil, and my life has drawn nigh unto hell. And like John, I pray, lead up my life from corruption, O God. O holy martyrs, Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. Brimming with life-creating waters, you are cast into river streams, receiving your own therein. You drown the patron of wickedness, and you now gush forth streams of healings unto us, O all acclaimed martyrs. Holy martyrs, Hermelus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. You eagerly submitted to be put in a basket and surrendered to the deep, O prize winners, and you are taken up to divine life where you joyfully found that which you hoped for, which endures forever, O noble and holy martyrs of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou wast bitterly punished and battered with the roads, O martyr Stratonicus, thou wast seen to be an invincible pillar of patience, established on the foundation of the faith, and utterly destroying the persecutor's opposition with thy words and deeds. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art compassionate, O virgin Theotokos, heal the passions of mine ailing soul and the anguish of my heart and the manifold mandrings of my mind and lull the rough storm of my passions, I pray. When ye received your death in the streams of the river, Ye drowned the ruthless foe in the deep of your contest. O far-famed Stratonicus and Hermilus, the man of God, wherefore in your struggles ye were worthily guided to the water of true incorruption and glory by Christ God who set your course. In the furnace the Hebrew children boldly trod the flame underfoot and transformed the fire into dew, crying out, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, forever. O holy martyrs, Hermilus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. Out of thy mouth a mellifluous tongue spake, O Hermilus, assuaging Stratonicus, thy fellow athlete's bitterness of heart, as he cried out, O God, blessed art thou. Holy martyrs, Hermilus and Stratonicus, pray to God for Holding us. Holding the cross of salvation as a rod of power, O noble martyr Stratonicus, thou didst readily endure beatings with rods and didst sing, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He that wandered preserved the prophet confined in the sea monster's belly, preserved your victorious relics in the waters of the river, after your death, O prize winner. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To loose the curse of Eve, thou dwells in the old blameless womb, causing a fount of blessing to gush forth for them that cry, Blessed, O all pure, is the fruit of thy womb. Madly did the Chaldean tyrant heat the furnace sevenfold for the pious ones. But beholding them saved by a higher power, he cried out to the Creator and Deliverer, Ye children, bless ye priests, him ye people, exalt him supremely for all ages. O holy martyrs, Hermilus and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. Thou didst endure being beaten and grievously smitten with a sword, and compassed by showers of tortures, O renowned Hermilus, and thou became the guide for Stratonicus unto the struggles of piety, and with him thou didst cry, Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. Holy martyrs, Hermilus and Stratonicus, pray to God. They that were unbending in mind and valiant in contest and worthy of heavenly gifts, those precious stones, those towers of the faithful, would not offer worship unto stones when so commanded. 
founded, but they cried out to God, the Master of all, supremely exalt him, O you people, unto all the ages. Bless, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Though the tyrant digged up thy sides with iron claws and mercilessly cut thee up with swords, he could not move thy mind, which was founded upon divine love and perceived the beauty of the Redeemer, unto whom thou now cries with boldness and rejoicing, supremely exalt him, O you people, unto all the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that in all things is perfect and by nature is unapproachable is seen to be approachable to me, being wrapped about with flesh from thee, O thou who knows not what look, fervently entreat him to scatter the burden of my transgressions, and to save me as I sing. Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, unto the ages. Every ear trembles to hear of the ineffable condescension of God, for the Most High willingly came down even to the flesh, becoming man through the virgin's womb. Wherefore we the faithful magnify the pure Theotokos, O holy martyrs, Hermelis and Stratonicus, pray to God for us. You pass through the sea of torments with the sail of Christ, O martyrs, and cast anchor in the heavens of rest, where the choirs of martyrs are, and the assembly of the just, wherein is the unwaning light and the joy of them that keep festival in spirit. Holy martyrs, Hermelis and Stratonicus, pray to God for The divine, us. splendorous, and great spirit in martyrs of the truth, after they had passed through the deep dark, of torments, rose up early unto the never-setting sun that shone out before the morning star, and now they shine the enlightenment of salvation upon our souls. Holy martyrs, Hermelis and Stratonicus, pray to God for this us. This day, as the Church of Christ does celebrate a sacred memory of your contest, O all-blessed Hermelis and Stratonicus, it keeps a joyous and a light-giving festival while magnifying God, the giver of your crowns, who magnifies you as his servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You were truly raised up to the holy and notable height of martyrdom, O blessed ones, and have indeed received the fulfillment of your longing, even the unshakable kingdom of God, O martyr Stratonicus, and wise and godly-minded Hermila. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Savior, who, when thou wast born, is preserve her that bear thee in violet after giving birth. Spare me when thou shalt see to judge my deeds, and overlook my transgressions and my sins, since thou art without sin, and a merciful God, and a friend of man. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, Received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, O Holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be baptized by John in the Jordan for our salvation, Christ our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all-pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great brand and the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery in our community.
with the prayers of the holy martyrs Hermilus and Stratonicus of Belgrade, with the prayers of our holy father Cantigan Mungo of Glasgow, whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.